The state of Pennsylvania is a very historic location in the United States. It has many historical stories and parts, but how could one forget its railroading? From the Pennsylvania Railroad to Norfolk Southern and Amtrak, the Keystone State is a very popular place for the world famous Horseshoe Curve. In celebration of 300 subscribers, I decided with my friend Commanding Officer Kanawa that we would meet in Altoona, Pennsylvania. The road trip would take quite a long time, however we would make plenty of stops along the way, some of them outside of Pennsylvania and some of them within Pennsylvania. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the horseshoe curve and the trains around Altoona. The first stop we would make would be in South Reading, Pennsylvania to pick up some stuff. It would not be railroad related, however, a little bit while after we stopped in Reading, we arrived at the East Broadtop Railroad. As said by the Smithsonian, the East Broadtop Railroad is one of the greatest preserved Industrial Revolution examples in the Northeastern United States. We made a stop in Orisbornia to check out how the restoration efforts were going. Here's a picture of the Rock Hill Trolley Museum which coincidentally has a Y for the East Broadtop. As many know, the East Broadtop powered excursions for tourists. However, it soon closed in 2012. Today, the East Broadtop is under heavy restoration to eventually pull excursions again. In fact, on August 13th and 15th, one can ride a short excursion on the East Broadtop once more. Here's a brief video of us following the line to Mount Union. We made a quick lunch stop in Mount Union, Pennsylvania, where we came across the engine shed for East Broadtop number three. While the locomotive is inoperable, it is well preserved within the engine shed. After our little lunch stop, we continued on just outside Altoona, where we came to Holidaysburg, home to the Everett Railroad. The area is also home to the Curry Rail Services, which does contract work on mainly freight cars, but can also do work on locomotives. While my father searched for directions to our hotel, I decided to get out and film the area. Some would be familiar since this is where Everett Railroad 11 would power her excursions. Unfortunately, it is closed due to the pandemic. However, you can still ride behind this Cook's Locomotive Works product soon. In downtown Altoona, we were greeted by the Amtrak Pennsylvanian after we finished eating dinner. We decided to stay and watch it go along the highway. Friday morning, we were awoken to rain and just horrible weather. However, it would clear up for a very hot day, but also a great sunny day. Our first stop to meet up with Commanding Officer Kanawa was going to be yeah. at the Altoona Railroaders Memorial. However, we soon found out that the museum was closed, so I decided to take a few photos of what was around. I was going to give you a 1361 update 
However, I could not. So, here are some photos of the area. We also decided to drive by the Norfolk Southern Junietta shops, where famous Pennsylvania Railroad steam locomotives rolled out. And there was Norfolk Southern 8520 in storage. Here's the drive-by video that we took once we circled around. I then got back out of the car, just to see the turntable area of the shops. If you look closely, you can see Norfolk Southern 2102, a former Reading switcher now used as the shop goat. Finally, we arrived at the world famous Horseshoe Curve. It was amazing to see what was there and just how well the grounds were. It is also where we met up with Commanding Officer Kanawa for some wonderful rail fanning. Unfortunately, we missed an intermodal while arriving, but here is some brief footage that I managed to take. Without further ado, let the festivities of the Horseshoe Curve begin.
to our surprise, we were greeted by these two rail maintenance away trucks. They weren't on the tracks, but they were going along the gravel.
after we were finished, Kanawa and I decided to regroup at downtown Altoona. While doing that, my dad and I decided to stop by the old tunnels, which are notorious for their horn shows. Here's a brief horn show that me and my dad did while going through the tunnel. That's awesome. Unfortunately, once we got in downtown Altoona, the Pennsylvania was running 54 minutes late, so me and Kanawa decided to stay goodbyes. Once we left, my dad and I decided to go to the Allegheny Portage Railroad National Historic Site. The Portage Railroad was known for its incline railroad accessibility. I was very fascinated about the entire thing. The tracks looked very interesting. As for the engine house, I could not go inside due to that they had just closed. Here's a look going downwards on the incline. Pretty incredible. Unfortunately, barely any track remains heading in any direction. However, the ones that are left teach a lesson about how incline railroads worked and how it linked up to the rest of the railroads. My dad and I decided to drive over to the old Portage Tunnel, which was very interesting and very well preserved. From Hollidaysburg to Johnstown, this little railroad has quite an interesting backstory and shows just how historic Pennsylvania really is. We eventually arrived in the sleepy town of Gallatin, which is home to the Gallatin Tunnels, a nice hotel, and an interesting railroad museum. Unknown to me was that the Amtrak Pennsylvania would actually be coming out of the tunnels. So here's a shot of that wonderful moment. We eventually arrived at the Everett Railroad Claysburg Shops, which is home to number 11 and some of the railroad's excursion equipment. Here's a little look around. This was going to be the last railroad experience outside of the car that I would get. After making a small stop at the Mallow Cup factory to pick up factory made Mallow Cups, my dad and I hit the road home. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this, please give it a like. And if you haven't already, subscribe. And a huge thank you for 300 subscribers. I don't know how many times I have to say it, but you guys mean the world to me. And I 
just, I just don't know what I would do without you guys. I'm amazed how far I've come in just over a year. However, the journey isn't over yet. This is Mr. New Jersey Transit, and I'll see you at the next station stop.